This drab series of buildings in Geneva is not much to look at, but it's renowned by art dealers and collectors as the premier place to stash their most valuable works. Normally this area is out of bounds for reasons of security and confidentiality, so you're very privileged. Yves Bouvier is head of the company Natural Le Coutre, one of the world's biggest specialists in storage, packing and shipping of works of art and valuable items. Thousands of wooden crates contain astonishing rarities. These are works of art. They could be sculptures. The paintings are in the boxes that tend to be straight, like this one or that one. There must be between 900,000 and a million artworks here. I think there are paintings by all the grand masters. In these containers are paintings by Picasso and sculptures by Rodin. It may be the biggest stock of art in the world. Gallery owners and collectors rent these spaces. I think if you rent two square meters, it costs at least 150 francs per month. The prices rise sharply depending on the level of security and storage conditions. The controlled level of humidity is around 50%, the temperature between 18 and 20 degrees. This is one of my personal pieces, so I can show you if you like. It's a console from Star Trek. It's the cockpit that they used in the Star Trek film. We've reached the limit of genetic manipulation. Geneva's free port is popular among art collectors because of its special status. Here you have to pass customs. It's a non-taxable zone, so the merchandise is exempted from value-added tax until it leaves the building. But customs officials are never far off. We must never forget that at the entrance and exit there's a customs post, customs officials, customs checks. So if you have anything to hide, don't come to the free ports. This free port is full to overflowing. A new wing was inaugurated in May to relieve the pressure on existing facilities. Every year the company makes 10 million francs for its majority shareholder, Canton Geneva. Thanks to art and wine, which is also considered a safe haven for investors. The director claims it's the biggest wine cellar in the world, with 3 million bottles. We only have the really great wines. Investors pay quite a lot for these and store them here for a few years while their value increases. We don't like this expression. Maybe it is Alibaba's cave, but at least we don't have the 40 thieves in here. Some news reports put the total value of the Geneva stock at 100 billion francs, a staggering amount for Natral Le Coutre, which is the Freeport's main leaseholder. The company offers a whole palette of services to try to persuade owners to keep their treasures here. Now we're visiting a showroom. This is an exhibition room for presenting mostly modern works of art. It's very important because it allows collectors to stay in touch with their pieces. They can come and look at them, move them, exchange them. So there's this commercial aspect. Presentation is very important for a collector. The company also specializes in the restoration and authentication of artworks. This nude, attributed to the French painter Albert Marquet, was dated 1912, but on closer inspection at the Freeport, the base layer of the painting was found to feature a tractor that wasn't produced until after 1930. Work carried out at the Freeport also helped to prove that this painting, thought to be the work of a 19th century German artist, was in fact by Leonardo da Vinci. Yves Bouvier has managed a quiet revolution in the way in which art is stored. The model is so successful that it's now being exported outside Switzerland. Here in the economically booming city-state of Singapore in the heart of Asia, Bouvier has just opened a free port entirely dedicated to art, wine and precious metals. These days, half of all art auctions take place in Asia. Asia has a developing art market. They need a structure with pillars of expertise in place, and we want to be the first to create this structure in Asia and to assume this position. 
Security's tight. Even the boss has to undergo a full body scan. The storage space is arranged over three floors, protected by seven-ton bulletproof doors. Yves Bouvier is clearly doing well, but his world conquest has only just begun. Next year, he's opening a new free port in Luxembourg, and then he'll be setting his sights on the new art capital, Beijing. <laughs>